horsepower guitar playing. All American horsepower guitar playing. By the way, that Ford Bronco is right now it's connected to a Saudi prince's ass sucking massive quantities of raw crude because my off-road Bronco Beast is tuned at exactly 800 yards to the gallon. I'm going to drive over Al Gore's face today at 5. All right, this is uh, what this looks like after the tour, after the Sonic Baptism 2016. Are you kidding me? Sonic Baptism 2016. I salute and worship. I praise thee. Real music lovers everywhere that Sonic Baptism 2016 with me and my incredible band, Greg Smith, Jason Hartless, the greatest crew, the greatest team, the greatest management, the greatest songs, the greatest guitar tone, the greatest dynamic, the greatest soul music, and ultimately the greatest real music lovers in the world. Thank you for over 50 years of celebrating and supporting my musical, my American Chuck Berry, Bo Diddley, Little Richard, James Brown, Wilson Pickett, Motown Funk Brothers, American rhythm and blues, soul music, rock and roll dreams. Little Richard lives and he lives in my fingers. So we're going to do a live Facebook. Are you serious? Let me get this right. So you expect me to believe that in 2016, I can have a buddy from Canada holding a handheld little tiny device, and he can convey my image, this well-groomed, cultivated American dream image to gazillions of people worldwide on this silly little device in a pink case. That's what you expect me to believe. All right, I'll conduct myself appropriately as if this technology actually exists. You have to grin and Bear it. All right, now we're going to have a Birdland orgy. We just got some of my Birdlands here. This is the magnificent number four. She has been fondled, caressed, and somewhat abused, but she likes it when I abuse her. One of my first Birdlands, and I can tell it's number four. <laughs> I, I took out a wood burner and I burned number four in it. And this, this is the mighty. Great white buffalo. I don't think I burned anything. Oh, I did. Look at TN18 or some god awful thing. <laughs> People go, why do you burn your bird lands? Because they burn me. All right, this is the great white buffalo. Thank you, Gibson Luthier, master craftsman. Got the gold great white buffalo. Got the little ten dudes and thing on. It's got. The, I mean, it's just a magnificent beast. And this is just an experimental amp. This is one of my old custom. This. All right. Get me making the sign of the cross. <laughs> 1959, Gibson Les Paul, original. 59, look at her, look at her. She likes me, she likes me. Volume off, volume off, in the middle position. She likes me, original everything. Are you kidding me? And here, of course, talking about sacred guitars her majesty blackie blackie lives and this here i don't know what number this is 50. look at that there is some artwork right there not many people take a wood burner to their fifty thousand dollar guitars so we're just going to spontaneously erupt here i got some uh, uncle ted guitar piece we're running through a black star <laughs> Gibson Birdland. Why did I start playing Birdland? First, I might as well start. My name's Ted Nugent. It's uh, October 10th, 2016. Are you kidding me? Seriously? You think this handsome son of a bitch, this lively, uppity, spirited, buoyant, defiant, alive and well American dreamer, we the people, guitar strangling son of a bitch, you expect me to believe that I'm going to be 68 years old in less than two months? Really? No, two months and two days. Really? 68, really, as if I'm 68. 
Why do you look older than I do at half my age? Not you, Todd. You're very <laughs> handsome. We got a Canuck here, man. He loves this stuff. By the way, Todd is my uh, guitar wrangler from uh, Canada. He comes down because he really, really cherishes, and that's the key word. I don't just love guitars. I don't just play guitars. First of all, I am the notes. I don't shoot arrows. I am the arrow. The mystical flight of the arrow can be delivered in the mystical flight of guitar licks. And I started playing the Gibson Birdland in 1965, but I dreamed of getting a Birdland in 1962. When I saw Jimmy McCarty at the Walt Lake Casino, my band, The Lourdes, opened up for Billy Lee and the Rivieras in 1962. Maybe 61. I had a band called the Lourdes. John Brake, John, I love you. John Finley, rest in peace, love you. Pete Prim on bass, and Tom Noel on drums, and the little guitar player, the semi Caucasian guitar player from Detroit. We had a band called the Lures in Detroit. And we opened up at the Wald Lake Casino, just west of Detroit, for Billy Lee and the Rivieras. Eventually, Billy Lee and the Rivieras changed their name to Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. Earl Elliott on Rickenbacker bass through a Ampeg B-18. Now, I really remember all this stuff. Clean and sober, 68 years, stuff works good. Earl Elliott bass guitar wore black silk gloves, Rickenbacker bass, a gray one, through a, 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 a Ampeg B-18. Joe Kubrick on a red Gibson 335 through a Fender Pro Reverb 212. Johnny Bonagic, Johnny B, like 15 years old on drums. Just a powerhouse, an out of control, off the rails locomotive drummer, Johnny Bonagic. He played on Shut Up and Jam two years ago. Johnny Bonagic, drum hero of the world. And of course, Billy Levice, Billy Lee, who changed his name to Mitch Ryder, incredible soul guy. See, 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 Ryder! Oh, Jenny, 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 won't you come along with Mitch? I mean, just veins popping off his forehead, 50 tambourines a night, blown up. And on Birdland guitar through a Fender Twin Amp, His Majesty Jimmy McCarty. And I saw the way Jimmy played. <laughs> Sounds of that. And of course, when he played lead, you know, just had a certain bite to it. So anyhow, it makes you want to play a certain way. So that was in 1962, 
So a, a bird land cost a thousand dollars. It may as well have cost a billion dollars because I just delivered newspapers <laughs> and I sold night crawlers and I washed cars, shoveled snow, raked leaves, cut lawns, washed windows, babysat, sold the uh, Saturday Shopping News and the Detroit Free and the Detroit News. I had 96 customers on one street and I would work every day so someday maybe I could get a Gibson Birdland guitar. I had a Fender Dual Sonic at the time through a little Sears amp with six tens. A silver tone amp, which end, ended up being my guitar, my amp, with a homemade cabinet on Journey to the Center of the Mine. Not the tofu, but the meat of my hand to get that. I mean, come on! Come on! There's only one of those. And that's how I learned from Jimmy McCarty with the Gibson Birdland through a Fender Twin Amp. And the, the adventure and seeking the ultimate sonic bombast tone maximized and culminated in 2016 on Sonic Bombast Tour is a combination of amps that I'm always experimenting with. I'm always playing with all my guitars. Every guitar makes you want to play differently. In fact, you'll see, so this uh, number 15. 15. Todd knows my guitar is better than I do. You can see I'm hanging on. There's a lot of technical things I could show you, but it's about anchoring. I guess the best example of that is a instrumental on Shut Up and Jam that are, that delivers that right hand flexibility and the unbelievable lifetime of dedication to the Northwest Passage to Tone Godland. The Northwest Passage to Tone Godland. That would make me Lewis and Clark and Sacagawea. So anyhow, maximum time, it makes the hand move. That's where Jimmy McCarty taught me that... Hear that? fast too. Chicka 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 rhythm. Rhythm and blues rock and roll. So it's about grinding out an anchor point on your guitar. That's why all my guitars are worn out where I anchor my hand. Even my Les Paul, even though I've only owned it for probably a third of its life, I'm wearing it out there. And of course old Blackie, old Blackie gets worn out. So it's about dedication. If you want to be a rock star, you're an idiot. 
rock stars are idiots. What you want to be, if you crave real music, especially guitar music, what you should dream and dedicate yourself like an animal, an obsessed, possessed, never give up, indefatigable animal, indefatigable animal, guitar music. You want to play guitar music. You want to find notes. <laughs> Constantly push yourself. So anyhow, the best way to get the combination of adventure notes, traditional old boogie woogie honky tonk stuff, and of course you gotta learn. <laughs> combination of the, the adventure and the indefatigable energy you apply to guitar manifested itself in all my songs. <laughs> See how in Wang Dang you hear some of them ring, some of them go blah, and some of them go chicka chicka chicka. combination of blare and flail and outrage and ringing and clanging and chicka chicka chicka. I did an instrumental on Shut Up and Jam called Throttle Down which shows how you're constant pushing your right hand to know what your left hand is doing. <laughs> just can never ever give up and there's so many amazing guitar players out there and remember it never comes easy if you don't get frustrated and angry and feel tortured and sonically waterboarded you're not trying hard enough so this little quick lesson today because Todd's operating the my device is about the American dream demands maximum dedication, animal focus and energy, and never give up attitude. If you want to make great music and you're not just happy with the music provided, like I wasn't, I was very happy with the music provided, but I wanted more. So I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. In fact, I jammed every day and I jammed every night and I practiced till I knew all the licks. And then I got on the nerve, the verge of a nervous breakdown and I didn't know the meaning of quit. <laughs> Thank you.
So you got to practice. You got to go for it. Is there any requests on there that people want to see some of the licks? Free for all? Free for all. Are you kidding me? Free for all. There's another example, Jimmy McCarty. I didn't just play a normal E chord. I found an E chord with every open string possible. <laughs> But a lot of the way we play it nowadays, we got a lot of the. And you can see that I'm letting the top strings, I'm letting these strings, I'm letting those ring while I'm going. And of course, Greg Smith on bass guitar goes. And Jason, book a book back at the boop, then book a back, book a book back at the boop, boop, da. Like animals, like ch like childish animals. Motor City Madhouse. Motor City Madhouse. There's the right hand test right there. I can't even make my mouth go as fast as my fingers. You really got to play all the time and get that hand moving. What else they got there? Green White Buffalo. Green White Buffalo. Are you kidding me? All right. We have to do uh, a reverential salute to the Great White Buffalo Birdland. And again, thank you. Thank you, the masters at Gibson. There are masters at Gibson. I remember them. And they built this great white buffalo because I wanted a great white buffalo guitar. And I've got Bob Mizek's unbelievable Ted Nugent Sonic Baptism guitar pickups in here. Unbelievable pickups. <laughs> because of the fake slide that I did. <laughs> so that's great white buffalo. What else they got? You want to hear the 59. Oh, the 59. They do want to hear the 59. Yes, indeed. Don't we all? Do you By any... the way, you don't play the 59? And you don't hear the 59. And your name's in the back of this one? Oh, yes. I even burned it in a quarter of a million dollar guitar. <laughs> you haven't used this on tour since 2001. Yeah, I haven't used this uh, for 15 years on tour because it's so damn bad. <laughs>
big fat sound. <laughs> Doggy dog. Doggy dog. This would be a good guitar to play it on. <laughs> you can hear a combination of blaring kerrang ex exploding chords but the hear that? I'm muffling the hell out of that muffle and then kerrang Same with Wango Tank. <laughs> then you get that bottom end going conk, 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 conk. Don't so, tread on me. Don't tread on me. Another perfect example. <laughs> with G, A, and D. It's only 96% of ACDC music. Perfect. <laughs> all right, so that's a little intro to Uncle Ted's guitar orgy that I celebrate every day. And if you want to find out more about this kind of fun stuff, go to my Facebook, Ted Nugent Official, which I guess you already know about, because here we are. And thank you for this high-tech electronic campfire. But if you want to make killer music, you got to be a killer. 
which means you've got to almost kill yourself with dedication, patience, perseverance, prioritization, and God please, clean and sober maximization of your gifts from God to milk the maximum American dream from whatever your pursuit of happiness is. Welding, ranching, law enforcement, tech, dirt, landscaping, guitar playing, if you don't kick maximum ass, you will get your ass kicked maximally. Clean and sober, dedication, proper food, no drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco, and no fat girlfriends. I'm telling you, that stuff will kill you. He had one last request. One the last request. The anthem. The oh yeah, yeah okay. okay. Um, maybe that PRS. Is that around? Uh, no. I'll tell you what. I'll use. I'll use this. See you soon. Grin and bear it.